We've got cloudy skies. Our temperature 69 degrees. AM 1490, FM 105.5, WGCH, WGCH WGCH.com, anywhere. The WGCH National News on the hour at 8. Uh, Back with our top local stories, 8.05, including uh, Greenwich Town Hall getting ready to reopen to the public in a couple of weeks. Hour from now at 8.50, Retired Men's Association of Greenwich will welcome uh, Greenwich uh, Academy uh, uh, graduate Hager Hajar Shamali. Uh, She will be talking about a closer look at the Middle East, key developments, insights, and where things are headed. She is the founder and CEO of Greenwich Media uh, Strategies. So she'll be speaking with me, 850 preview of this Wednesday morning's uh, Zoom uh, RMA meeting. WGCA Two Center time is 7.53. Monday mornings at this time, we check in with producer John Iannuzzi with a preview of Jim Campbell's two shows tonight, Forensic Talk at 6, Business Talk at 7. Good morning, John. What are, what's Good morning, Jim, Tony. Good morning. What's Jim got for us tonight? I got a lot of notes here. So two great hours of radio tonight. The first, only on Forensic Talk, 6 p.m. on WGCH, is there a decline in corporate ethics or how to build a corporate culture of integrity? And we're going to be looking at scandals like Uber, Penn State after Sandusky, Wells Fargo, Fox News sexual harassment, all these and more as case studies in how corporations deal with calamities, its bad behavior at the highest level, and what companies do to rebound, and what they do that leaves them decimated. And our guest tonight at 6 is Dr. Patricia Harned, the CEO of ECI, which is the Ethics and Compliance Initiative. And Dr. Harned has served as a consultant to many leading organizations, including the aforementioned Penn State University after Sandusky, Daimler-Benz, and the New York Stock Exchange. And Jim and the doctor will discuss why scandals happen and how to avoid them. And in editing the show, Tony, the thing that I kept thinking was one bad actor can ruin or at least unnecessarily complicate the lives of so many people folks who work at the companies, their families, the students at a school like Penn State, the athletes, the coaching staff. So the ripple effect is real. Hmm. All right. Any, anybody doing it right? <laughs> well, the good news is that, and, and again, Dr. Hornet works with these people to help get them back on track. The good news is that, you know, for instance, Penn State did manage to pull themselves out of this, and we'll learn how. Okay. All right. What do you got at 7, then? 7 o'clock, Biz Talk with Jim Campbell. Smart, intellectually disciplined, creative, complicated, ornery, and rigid. These are all words to use to describe the late Jack Welch, the business titan who led GE in the 1980s and 90s. And Jim's guest this evening at 7 is American management consultant and former director of global development at GE, Noel M. Tishy. And Noel has been named one of the top, the nation's top management gurus. He's an advocate of leaders being teachers as well as managers. And he and Jim will discuss how Welch, who died in March of this year, fits into that manager as a teacher role. Okay. All right. So, yeah, he died right at the beginning of the pandemic. He did in March. Yeah. And Tony, I mean, not that this is germane to anything, but it blew my mind. You want to guess what? Welch's severance payout was when he retired from GE. What was that? Four hundred seventeen million dollars. Oof! Wow. Really, just fascinating. So yeah, so tune in at seven for a deep dive into into Jack Welch's General Electric. All right, fantastic, uh, John. Always good to talk to you. Thanks very much. Have a great day. Thanks, Tony. That's John Inuzi, producer of Jim Campbell's two shows tonight. Of